What's up, movie crew? Welcome to the latest Let's Watch. Before I get started, tomorrow I am doing a live stream and I am giving away movies. 3.45 Eastern Standard Time. The video should already have like a notification thing on here and I'm going to have something on Instagram. Now, back to this. Today, I am seeing Expendables 4. Now, pin comment down below. Back in June or July, I did a ranking for the five movies I am looking most forward to seeing from July to December. Expendables 4 is on that list. Unfortunately, I've got some people that have already seen this movie before me, and they've said it sucks. So now I am going into this with low expectations. So I guess I'm going to go in here, see the movie, come back, and give you my thoughts on Expendables 4. All right, so I have just gotten back from seeing Expendables 4. So I've got good news and I got bad news. The good news is that I think I might actually like this movie more than some of the other people I know that have seen it. The bad news is that this is not a good movie. All right, I rewatched the trilogy before seeing this, and there's definitely the law of dimin diminishing returns with each movie. One's the best, but I will say, as much as I loved it when I first saw it, it doesn't have that same oomph to it that it did when I first saw it. Two had its moments, but still not as good as the first one, and three is just outright garbage. Four, four has moments that are really good, but as a whole, I cannot say it's a good movie. On one end, you get to see some of the characters reunited, which is cool. You've got all these connections with some of the other characters. Not bad. But... With the first movie, they made such a big deal on this being a practical movie. They did practical effects. They shot on location. And there is some CG in here that is awful. Hollywood, pay your visual effects people. Jeez. I, I'm not going to go too far into that, but... That bothered me. Another thing that I wasn't a big fan of is Stallone's not really in this movie that long. And say what you want, but Stallone does have a little bit of versatility to his acting skills. The problem is, since he's not there, the second in command is Jason Statham. And he doesn't have the same level of versatility as Stallone does. And this pretty much becomes one of his movies where it's just like he goes through and he's a badass and no one touches him the entire time. And like with the other Expendables movies, like these people do get hurt. But instead of seeing him, like, fighting adversity or anything like that, it's just, like, he's unscathed the entire time. And there was a couple of occasions where I'm like, all right, you should at least be feeling some level of pain, dude. As far as the other cast, you don't get a lot of the returning people. You get Randy Couture, you get Dolph Lundgren. And you've got like one or two other people. But for the most part, you've got a bunch of newer people. And 
I don't mind 50 Cent as an actor, but the biggest thing I know him from with his acting skills are more drama-based stuff than action-based stuff. And Megan Fox has a larger-than-needed pre presence on screen. And there's one thing that they did where they really shouldn't have had her be a, have as much screen time as they did. But overall, if you're looking for a stupid action movie, this is it. Because right now, this is probably your only option for stupid action movies in theaters right now. With Halloween coming up, we've got It Lives Inside just got its official release. Uh, Saul 10 comes out next week. Exorcist comes out the week after that. So if you're an action fan, this is probably your only action movie you're getting until the Marvels. Overall, I'm going to give it a two and a half out of five. Not bad, but <sighs> that's the closest I'm going to say. I'm not going to say it's not bad, but it's not good. It's just, it's not the worst thing I've seen this year. It'll probably be on the list of worst movies I've seen this year. So you've been warned. And that's going to do it for this one. If you are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. You like what you see? Leave a thumbs up. Comment down below. Are you seeing Expendables 4? And also reminder, tomorrow live stream, I'm giving away movies. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you all for watching and tune in next time.